why let me guys let me guys let you guys let me know if you guys <laughs> Hey guys, it's like almost 7 p.m. I'm still not getting used to p.m. a.m. that shit because in Norway it's all 24 hour clock but it's like 7 p.m. and I'm fucking drinking coffee and the weather is finally looking good outside. It's been raining all day. In today's video, I thought I would actually do like a DIY thing. I know there's a million DIYs out there for, you know, especially what I'm going to talk about which is like a vision board. Uh, I've been wanting to kind of make one for a long time and I did semi make one <laughs> in my last dorm room because I moved into a new place and I haven't really hung anything on the walls yet except that airplane poster right there. But yeah, I have been wanting to like make a vision board thingy but I have been thinking oh then I have to go like down to Staples and get like photo prints of the pictures that I want to print and all this shit. But then you know what? I realized I don't need to do that. I can just print it like be cheap as fuck and just print it off a uh, printer <laughs> like regular paper in like black and white or something and yeah and by the way guys I know I'm going off track but I tried this contour shit what's it called baking hair and I feel like it doesn't look that good like can you guys tell me how it looks cuz I feel like it does no like it looks too sharp yeah anyway so basically for this tutorial all you will need is um, I would say Either you don't have to put your vision board on a big piece of paper, you can kind of just like make an area of your wall. I just got a message from someone, go away, fuck it off, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you can just like make a section in your room with pictures, you don't have to put it on a big paper, but you can just have like a big piece of paper if you want to make it more like a poster or whatever. And then you need to have internet access and Google and probably USB maybe if you have to go somewhere and print your shit and you need a printer and basically just visions, dreams, things you want to do in your life uh, that you can put in, like find a picture of. So let's get started! So the first thing I would do is just give yourself some time to actually think about what you want your life to look like, say I don't know, 10 years from now. And for me, I just think of my three biggest passions and really that's aerial arts, philosophy, like conversation, intellectual conversation which includes like sociality and stuff and just generally kind of staying educated and traveling and all that stuff. Constantly learning basically and flying, I love flying and I've kind of changed my career path to possibly becoming a pilot in the future but who knows that might change so yeah there will be a lot of aerial arts uh, books and shit like that here like deep shit and flying airplanes so on that same note what I suggest you do is just write down your main kind of passions in life on a paper things you want to do just to get an overview of what you want to google and find images for so next you're just gonna google uh, whatever passions or things you want to accomplish in your life, things you want to do, basically, whatever you want on your dream board, Marn. It's so simple as that. But yeah, Google those and copy uh, images from Google, paste them into a Word document. I don't know if this is like copyright stuff, if I am like doing something wrong. But anyways, <laughs> copy and paste into one Word document so you could uh, save it on a USB. You might want to also resize some images just so they're not too big. And also take a little uh, sneeze break, that's always mandatory. <laughs> Next you want to just repeat those steps for the other interests that you want to put on your dream board. So you have a variety of things on there. Another thing I suggest doing is try to think of Instagrammers that inspire you. I especially like this girl, Olivia Oates, I guess her name is. And she's just a really good pole dancer, so I really like her hand dance. So I'm gonna take some pictures from that and put it on my wall. That's not creepy at all. That rhymes, okay. So next you wanna just, you know, put your USB in and save your document to USB if you have to go somewhere else to print it, which I do because I have to print it at the university. So here's all most of my pictures. And yeah, let's go print this shit.
Okay guys, I just have to tell you guys something I've noticed and I don't know if this is just me or what but this is gonna sound like me stroking my ego, I guess I kind of am. Every spring, and especially in Canada, I find that so many guys just approach me and I'm just not interested. I'm like, nope. <laughs> I just like, there was like th these guys who just approached me and this one guy was like, do you have Snapchat? I'm like, yeah I do, but I'm good. Like, I don't need your Snapchat. Uh, like kind of a thing. And it was like, do you have Instagram? I'm like, yeah, I have Instagram. <laughs> Can I get your number? Like, I was clearly showing him I'm not interested, but they're just like so fucking thirsty. Like, it's like, do you not get a hint? Do you not get a hint? Like, when I'm like, yeah, I'm good, and then I kind of start walking, and he just keeps talking to me. It's like, seriously, seriously, like, how? What? I'd never do that. Like, if someone is, like, kind of rejecting me, like, I'd just be like, okay, bye, bitch, like. Yeah, anyways, that's something I've noticed, especially in springtime, that more guys approach me. You know, as much as we like to think that we're not animals or whatever, like, we're different from other animals, maybe it's just, like, mating season. <laughs> like, you know, like, I don't know, springtime, everyone comes alive and shit, so something, maybe there's something there and everyone's outside and shit and wearing less clothes. Oh, I was wearing this, it's not, like... Not like I'm like naked. And now for the fun part, fucking clipping all the pictures out of their paper, I guess. This is like not the same day, just because I was getting late as I was doing this project. But yeah, I'm gonna finish this project. I'm doing some laundry and I'm I'm just feeling I'm in that mood where I'm like, okay, I need to make a change. I'm probably I'm gonna make a video about that actually right now after I've cut these out and stuff so stay tuned for that So the last thing you want to do is sticky tag. You can see one in the picture in the corner. Fuck no. I can't even talk. I'm just, I don't know. I get hyper sometimes and then I just like stumble over my words. But anyways, I'm in a good mood. I just had coffee and my smoothie and everything and I'm doing laundry and I'm getting some things done. Anyways, <laughs> sticky tag them to the wall. You could do like one whole paper and like glue them or tape them to like a whole paper. You know what I mean? Like I said earlier, or you could just individually sticky tag them. I'm gonna individually sticky tag them. If that's even what it's called, tack and stick is what this called. This called this this called my life. <laughs> okay, let's see how this turns out. You guys can see. Oh my god, this angle is not flattering. But <laughs> hello, double chin. Um, but yeah, I already put up some. These are just pole dancing ones. These are the ones I had when I made an ish vision board when I said that. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna start sticky tacking. I'll probably do a time lapse. Is that what it's called when you like fast forward? It's like a time lapse. Yes, I'm gonna do that shit because I'm a pro YouTuber. <laughs> Not. <laughs> So, I actually decided that I'm going to like cut it off hair, I think. I'm gonna start going like to it because it's kind of like a corner, so I'm gonna start putting on this wall as well, if that makes sense. So, I just started continuing on this side. Um, what I also started doing is categorizing the different photos so that I, I don't want all like say airplane photos to be too crammed in the same place. I'm trying to distribute them. I just sorted them based off of this is like airplanes and this is kind of like thinking, philosophy kind of thing and then this is all aerial arts um, pictures uh, just so I can distribute them a bit evenly so yeah, I'm just gonna make like kind of like a corner here maybe I'll start filming my videos here, who knows Get we all done so this is a final result. It became more of like a vision corner. <laughs> As you can see, 
like the books is like for knowledge and then aerial arts, pole dancing, you know, and more like existential things because I, I think very much like in the big picture and about the universe and all that shit. And I want to go fucking skydiving this summer or next summer. I don't know, like, mm hmm. And more books, pilot stuff, airplane, the A380. Fuck, I want to fly with the A380 one day. Like, that's like specifically that type of airplane. Can we all just take a moment to appreciate the A380 and all its fucking glory? It's so, I just love it. It's my favorite airplane ever. Like, can I please fly it? They actually launched another one, like, uh, upgraded version, and then, like, question everything. Why? <laughs> it's like, philosophy, more airplane, it's just kind of more stuff that represents, like, my main focuses in life, I guess. Yeah, I love it! I kind of want to put, like, twinkle lights around it. It will be so cozy. But, yeah, I'm scared of, like, ruining the walls and have to pay, like, a damage deposit if I do that. But, yeah! So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that little DIY. Um, I'm just in a really good mood because it's blue skies outside. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that little DIY. Let me guys, let me guys, let you guys, let me know if you guys, <laughs> let me know if you guys like these kinds of videos or if you guys have any other requests. I'm trying to do some different things on my channel other than, you know, I, I know that a lot of people did like my deep philosophy side, but that will also be ingrained in these kinds of videos and like tips, blah, 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 all that shit. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did and press that subscribe button. I've never been one to say that in videos, but I'm starting now. I don't know why people do that. Like, do you think that reminding people to press subscribe is actually gonna make them subscribe? I wonder if that actually is a thing, if that actually helps. Anyways, bye guys. <laughs>